A sneaky scrapper is caught in Detroit. The man thought he, he dressed up like a public works employee. No one would question what he was doing with dozens of tree grates. He thought wrong. Fox News' Randy Whitley joins us live with more on how he was caught. Randy. Hey guys, that man is facing a, a few charges. He is in police custody. Police say he stole a number of these tree grates and he would have gotten away with it had not some members of the community saw fit to get involved. A brazen scrapper caught on camera stealing tree grates in broad daylight is now behind bars. The great grift happened on Kerchival near Grand Boulevard in Detroit over the course of a few days last week. The man wore a safety vest to look the part of a public works employee while loading up 43 of these nearly 200 pound grates into his car to cash in at a scrapyard. They are costly and this individual stole many of them, uh, totaling more than $20,000. Police say community members played a huge role in getting the great thief locked up. Someone called 911 upon seeing the man stealing the grates and snapped a picture of his license plate. Several scrap yards refused to buy them. The team sent out a, an alert uh, to the scrap yards. These items have been stolen from the city with taxpayer dollars. Do not accept them. Uh, and we got calls. Tips came in from the business community as well. Police say the man used his ID and scanned his thumbprint at a local scrap yard as he attempted to sell the grates. Police got another boost from Project Greenlight cameras, which caught the man red handed. This is a warning and a message to anyone out there. Let it be clear that if you come here and you try to take from us, we're going to catch you and we're going to find you. The thefts occurred on a stretch of Kerchival. The city has spent more than $7 million to improve from streetscape, road resurfacing, bike lanes, and of course, planting new trees. Everything is just beautiful. Um, unfortunately, some people um, felt the right thing they, for them to do is to steal some of the things that will make this place beautiful. Uh, but thanks to the um, community who noticed something was wrong, and they took pictures, shared it with us, called our attention to it. We're really glad this person was brought to justice. Uh, guys, police were able to recover some of those grades from a local scrap yard. The suspect is behind bars facing two five-year felonies, as, along with being a habitual offender. Police say that he's currently on parole for larceny and home invasion. You, Monica? Thanks for that live report.